Hi guys, I'm about to give you another tip about Upwork, but first I wanna talk about our, our sponsor here, Cover.ai. This is what the website looks like. I've talked about it before. They're the great people that allow me to keep this uh, YouTube channel flowing. Uh, so I highly suggest you check them out. Check out the link uh, below in this video and um, sign up for an account. Uh, this, that allows them to track uh, if my audience is engaged. So um, please go ahead and do that. It is an affiliate link. Uh, basically, they provide portable benefits for gig workers, paid time off, sick leave, 24-7 health service, even legal protection. So go ahead and check them out. I love them. You should too. All right. This is going to be a little bit of a weird video since you're only seeing a corner of my screen. I am in the typical message box. When you're messaging a freelancer or a client, um, you will see on the upper right-hand corner this screen. This is a phone icon. We're going to talk about how to use Upwork's video chat feature. Now, what they're doing is they're rolling out um, Zoom um, slowly to accounts. I have it here. But go ahead and click on this icon here. Now, the reason why we want to uh, talk to clients on the platform before an agreement is signed is because that's what Upwork's policy is. Too many people try to talk outside by giving emails or phone that it, you'll get your account banned if you do that. Just don't do that. So what you want to do is uh, click the Zoom meeting, the Upwork call or phone call. Now the phone call is great if you're mobile because the Upwork call and the other two options basically, the Upwork call and the Zoom call both have video features, okay? So use the phone call, you click this and you will see the phone number appear. Just go ahead and dial this uh, right on, or you don't have to dial it, just click the button and it'll dial right on your phone for you, okay? Now if we go back, you'll see other uh, another two options. Now, Zoom you're all familiar with, but what Upwork does is they restrict the chat feature on this so you can't type in your email or your phone number to talk outside remember you need an agreement signed before you communicate outside of Upwork okay so you can also use the Upwork call feature now this is their inherent approach at video conferencing there's been some complaints about this I agree since I experience it very grainy video okay you really need both parties need a high-speed connection for this to work well but if you go ahead and click this Upwork call I won't do it or it's gonna call this person uh, it will automatically open up a video conferencing room where you get to see somebody's audio um, or hear somebody's audio and uh, see their video um, through their, you know, of course, their webcam. OK, uh, Zoom is the same thing. It's just a um, uh, better picture and it's a more familiar platform since you can do screen share and all that stuff. Um, you know how to do it. Uh, screen share on Zoom. It's on the lower part. There's a screen share button. I should note, though, there's also screen share for the Upwork call, this feature right here. Uh, so many people, freelancers will complain, well, I need to see their screen and you guys don't allow that. That's why I met with them off of Upwork. That's not true. You can do just about anything. You can meet with somebody face to face other than touching them with the Upwork call inherent feature and now with the Zoom. So there's no reason that you need to go outside of Upwork to meet with someone before an agreement is signed because it's all right here. In the upper right hand corner, just click this phone call, uh, this phone button icon. And something you can also do, which a lot of people don't know, is once you launch either the Zoom call or the Upwork call, um, you can bring in another party, even someone who doesn't have an Upwork account. So let's say you launch this Upwork call, you're in a video chat with someone, you'll see a plus button where you can provide a phone number for someone who doesn't have an Upwork account, or the plus button will also bring in another person that is on Upwork. You can just click on their profile and add them to the call. It's super easy. You can do three-way calling, two-way calling, outside calling for someone who's not on Upwork, all sorts of stuff. So take that and uh, use that to communicate with your clients. Good luck.